It's been 24 years since the All Blacks lost two test matches in a row on home soil. But tonight here in Wellington, a talented Irish team has the chance to replicate the Springboks and the Wallabies of 1998 and take the three-match series. Tenakoto Katoa, no mai, haere mai, joined in commentary tonight by Ian Smith, sideline, and former All Black Justin Marshall. Good evening, Grant. Welcome, everybody. No mai, haere mai, te whanau, kia ora. Focha to all the Irish joining us tonight. It's crunch time. The series is on the line. There's been so much chat, debate, and pressure, which has only hyped this game to another level. So Dan Sheehan to throw, taken in by James Ryan. And Ireland looking to impose themselves early. They've got it under control here. They're still going. And they score early. Three times in a row. And it could be Josh van der Flair. The courage. The courage of Johnny Sexton and all of his Irish players to turn down a very kickable three to go for more and they got more in abundance the line out more was very well taken in the middle once they got that second bit of momentum they were virtually unstoppable the power and the surge the all black players were too far to the right and thunder flair goes over early in the test match once again as kane holds it up right in midfield you've lost Ball slow three. coming for you've smith and clearly you continued on the ball against you the Irish the playing the ball continued. on the ground Bundy Aki and several others had a crack at it and the flags have stayed down Josh don't hold legs on the floor please trying to wrestle his way through was Sheehan now Sexton again. Bowden Barrett goes early. It's been tipped back by one of the Irish players. And it's uh, fallen loose. Now Taylor. Hard early. Mac Hansen coming across and it beats them all. And it will be a 50-22. From David Harvey off the back of a Sam Whitelock turnover into the capable hands of Harvey and they've got a 50 22 a chance to launch them. ball is there Savia has a look leaves it though now it's a Kiri Yuani right out in center field here and the all backs go straight and ahead Jordy Barrett then to get the all blacks on the board and then he does just that. It's taken 23 minutes. And Ireland continue the lead. So she lobs it in. Well done. As Omani drags it in. And Ireland have got a good drive going here. They've also got a penalty advantage. Still penalty advantage. Now the ball slipped to Gibson Park. Away for Arkey. Sexton. Hanson. Fullback Keenan is in. Low. Can't beat the tackle of... Jordy Barrett though here's Sexton again shoveling it across Arkey good power by Bundy Arkey just near the 22 as they go blindside through Hanson slips it to Rhodes and Gap Keenan in a gap and Keenan scores what a terrific try by the Irish fullback oh you said it Ms. Bo outstanding you deal with it, mate. So well drilled and organised. It all started at the line out more, which got their momentum going forward. And under advantage then, the patience, but also when the gaps were there, they quite had the ability to make sure the okay. pass was into the space. Out to James Lowe, little bit of a no-look pass on the inside to Keenan again, who featured so prominently in this move. And he's got too much pace and skill. The end pass, there was beautifully worked using the blind side. Jonathan Sexton, yes, and saw. this time he's got it right. Very good conversion, and the Irish fans are standing, and they lead by 12 points to three. There's Reese, no real opportunities for Severi Reese as yet. Now Aaron Smith clears it out, too but far, hello. Too far. 
I think it was either Geordie or Bowden Barrett. They cl not cleaned the someone ball. out way, way, way past the ruck. Right in front of Wayne Barnes as well. Well, this is a big moment because if Johnny Sexton gets brave again. So, from 49 metres. Distance is okay. And so's the direction. The gamble is justified. And Ireland lead by 15 points to three. Gibson Park drags it out. They do come to the right. And it's with Keenan. Now Gibson Park. Here's Doris. Kalen Doris, the big number eight. Ball there for Gibson Park again. Slings it across to Sheehan. Oh, Kenny's in the game. Oh, they've worked it brilliantly. And Robbie Henshaw scores for Ireland. And that's number three. Absolutely sensational. Every player knows where to be. From the scrum, they went to the right as they spin it back. Nice little behind ball. Then on to Bundy Aki. And a short little pass to Henshaw Island. They are so very good with ball in hand. Well, that was from a scrum that actually didn't go that well. They were under pressure, that scrum, but they still managed to correct it by Jamison Park. Looking to make it a 1,000 for Ireland, and he does just that. But more importantly, Ireland go further ahead, and they lead at Sky Stadium in the big decider by 22 points to three. Kane almost got there. Big moments. Another penalty. A carry Ioani. Here's Sabia. Sabia. I reckon he's got there. Twisting and turning. I haven't got a ground here. Did he get it on the grass? I think so. They're going to have a look. On his back, reaches so out. A tackle. He's allowed to place the ball. He's allowed he to place it. And place. And he's in control of the ball. And he gets yeah, it down. His left hand, hand is always on top of the ball. He's always pressing down. You may award the try, Bunty. Thank you very much. What a start from the All Blacks. And how influential was the try scorer? Bleeding from the coming. mouth, but he carried and he carried and he carried it. Jordy Barrett adds the extra two. As Smith slings it off to Sabia, finds Retallick with the inside pass. Retallick is quite stressed. Ball's live. Oh. Yeah, we're absorbed. just going to use he's a contact point. OK, is that right? He's absorbing the tackle. Agree, he's not hitting up into it, no. Well, it's just a yellow. Put your hands down. Put your hands down. It's an absorbing tackle, no quicks. You know, this is the current law and the way that it is being officiated. 15 metre line. Sets it up for Smith. Sabia didn't time his run too well. Now off it goes to Akari Oh, he's in. The big man is in. Ho -ho! There's the power. The power of Akari Yoani. We know he's explosive. Shrugging tackles away. Once he can break that initial defender, it's then about his power and speed. He's deceptively quick. He beat three defenders. Really good run up the middle, but there's the right foot step. Pushes past one, past two. Third can't get to him, and he's too strong for Hanson at the back. Yeah. Oh, the All Blacks are back in this big time. Well, that's a massive statement on a number of counts, really. A lot of doubts about this fellow here. Well, he's answered a few now. Now very much on the front foot. Here is Aki. Gibson Park waiting. Advantage. Oh, they've got a penalty. Advantage. All Blacks stand over the ball. So that's a counter penalty, I guess, and we have to go back. Sexton with the kick. And he guides it through. And Ireland have an eight point advantage. Replacement on the field for Brody Retallick. Smith has a little snipe. Doesn't go anywhere. Now here's 
Akira Uwadi bouncing his way through Cam Healy's tackle. And Ireland get another penalty. Tuck in. Right in centre field on halfway. Distance is off the crossbar. Smith fires it away. Almost got it intercepted. Touched, touched, now it's been touched. And coming forward is Keenan fearlessly. Gibson Park again. Sexton testing the All Blacks. Bo Bowden Barrett. Nice slip catch taken by Geordie Barrett. Now off it goes to Savia. Inside to Jordan. Now can he link up Will Jordan? Going to back his pace. And I reckon he will. Ho -ho! Will Jordan. Will Jordan. Why not? Out of nothing, the All Blacks. A speculative kick from Sexton. Adi Savia's and everything. Will Jordan, the receiver on the inside from Adi Savia, to finish off his good work at the back. They had one chance, and it was Kalen Doris, and he missed him. He couldn't get across the man in the black headgear. And after that, he just had eyes for that right-hand corner. Jordy Barrett has taken the ball back a long way to open up the angle, and just missed. To attack, but we've seen how dangerous they are from from the kick turnovers. So uh, there's a balance in our game to be had. And if we can apply some here they pressure. come. Bundyaki, ball is there, and it was all oh, hang on. Still in. Still, no, it's not when you ask. He wasn't sure if the ball. Thanks was so out. much, Peter. Thanks, you guys. Thanks. Thank you, ball sir. sitting there, and Adi Savia. Rule to be coming from an offside position. Rob Herring throws. Artie Savia captain, folks. Okay. Herring in the back. Making good progress. Close. Scores! Oh! Sorry, went. Rob Herring, replacement hooker. Boy, what a call that was from Johnny Sexton. Oh, was it what? And wasn't it looking very, very likely from the minute that it got set and then they got it moving. Nice in the middle from Ryan, who's been absolutely outstanding. And then when it starts moving here, you felt it was only a matter of time. What a surge, he gets it down on the line. Rob Hearing, oh my goodness, this is a massive moment in this test series. Crowd don't like it. That's I'll fine, have, have get on with it. it. That's fine, all right. All Blacks charging hard. He lifts it up, does Sexton, and over it goes. Island lead by 10. Big moment, Ian Smith. Yep, two of us are check on for uh, his Blues teammate, Rico Ioani. And Sam Whitelock takes it down to the 22. Fakataba works it off to Savia Moonga. Delayed the pass beautifully. Now here's a chance, Bowden Barrett. Quick ball required for Fakataba. Gets it off to Coles. He in turn finds Moonga. Out into midfield for Jordan. Papa Lee was standing wide. Turnover again. Yes. Turn. How many times? Outstanding. Seconds left. As Connor Murray brings it out. Henshaw. Back on the inside it goes. The All Blacks try and turn it over. Can't do it though. There goes the siren. Back to Calvary. And that is that. Ireland win the series. And they fully deserve to do it. Winners for 2022, Ireland.